Hi, Dr. Joe here to talk about a new article just published in the journal Neuron. It's the identification of a key molecule of the vascular system, all the blood vessels in your body, and how it, that key vascular system, directs the rest of the ex axons. These are the parts of the brain, the cells and so forth, that grow circuits, how it talks to one another and does all the other things that we use a brain for. Uh, it also gives us inkling into how birth defects may be prevented, autism may be prevented, and a variety of other things that we know now the brain can grow later as we get older, and that may be a very important thing that we now understand this connection. Uh, it's called vascular endothelial growth factor, and it sometimes is known as l -arginine. Many of you have been in a situation where you've reviewed the article from Harvard from uh, 2009 from the International uh, Journal of Clinical Experimental Pathology, all that in one word. So that was about Alzheimer's. Now we're talking about how it all begins. Big news, big new thing we'll be able to do. And it explains other things that go on. How is it so easy that arginine reverses all the retinopathy? Well, now we begin to know, and is there some way to even do it faster, better, and stop the bleeding? We have a situation where high blood pressure is probably in there, too, because the autonomic nervous system controls all these things and gets these balances between the two nerves, sympathetic, parasympathetic, and the autonomic nerves. This is really exciting. This is something that's going to make a big difference, peripheral neuropathy as well. Other things that are symptomatic and we just take it for granted because diabetes does that, that isn't an adequate explanation and it isn't a way we're going to stop looking at how to treat all the other aspects of complication of diabetes. If you have diabetes and you've heard a little bit about this, much more to come, it really is your time.